Are you up for another beer experiment? This is a split batch. This is, let me see, I marked this. This is fermented with BF27 from Angel Yeast, Lager Yeast. But they are fermented at really hot temperature. I'm gonna dig into why I choose that temperature. This went at 25 C, yes. And the doctor will convert everything into birds and stone as usual. Thank you. One is fermented with pressure. One is fermented out pressure. Excited. How about you, Tiggy? So, lager fermented hot under pressure versus not under pressure. Does that make any sense? Ah, let's kick it. I'm Dr. Hans. This is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So, this video is sponsored by Angel Yeast, so I use their BF27 Lager Yeast. First link in the description goes to Angel Yeast Brewing product page. You can read all about their products. I also use their Brew NutriSed Yeast Nutrients for this batch. Treat your yeast and they will give you great beer. Hopefully, if you're not doing anything wrong. If you're interested in the BF27 and like to compare it with something else, I have tested this against Saf Lager W3470. You'll find a link down below to that video. As I said in the grain to glass video, which we also will link down below if you haven't watched that yet, this is probably the best lager I ever brewed. I will use this as a base. <laughs> You can download the recipe in that video. Everything is linked down below. We have a little slight difference in the head. Uh, that has to do with my pouring skills. More epic pour here than there. I don't think the beer are as dark as you see them. We have a slight little haze on it. Good looking, some color here from the Munich malt. This was also brewed with hops from my own garden. I'll go and watch the grain to glass video. We're just here for the experiment today. I also fermented one version cold at 15C. So this was a three-way split batch with the same yeast. 15C under pressure, 25C with pressure, 25C without pressure. These two fermented out to the same FG from an OG of 1047 down to an FG of 1009 and they fermented out like in a day or something, two days max, maybe two, I don't know, somewhere around that part. And now they have been logging for about five weeks maybe. Doctor, can you put like signs here which one is which? Thank you. Smell wise. And I had tried these beers before I record this for Patreon and channel members. Speaking of that, big shout out to my Patreon and channel members. I will record a separate video for you after I'm ready here. Me and Tiggy. The hot fermented one, both are hot fermented. The non-pressurized version is has a slight more like fruitiness, but it's 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 lagerish. It's really it's it's, it's, it's Tastes like a lager, it looks like a lager, and if it's brewed with lager yeast, it's, it's a lager. Someone was gonna bitch always in the comments, so go ahead. Please leave a nice comment and click off. Cheers. And as usual, please do not subscribe to my channel. My channel sucks. There are much better channels for you to go and subscribe to than mine. Are you ready? Let's do this, the taste test. Let's try with the version under pressure first. It's really nice lager. I'm really happy with it. So you definitely should brew it. And used halitamita through hops, but grown in my garden, they taste a little bit different than the ones that I'm buying. But they have, they are quite special. It's not really a hop-forward beer, but I do get the hops in. Not to like blow my own horn, but both of these are much better than a lot of lagers I can buy here in Sweden. I usually only buy Czech lagers or German lagers because I don't think we have any good lagers for this. And definitely not. Yeah, someone's gonna get pissed off now, but craft brewers can't do lager. Sorry. I said it. Leave, leave an ask the comment. These are really, really good, and they are super close. This is so hard. What say it to you? Känner du någon på här Tiki can't sense any difference. Mm? No, she can't sense any difference. If I would describe it, there's a slight difference. No. Was I wrong about the Roma also? I need to be honest here on my channel. 
I can't find a difference. I can't find a difference between these two beers at all. I'm so sorry. I really wish there were massive difference. I thought I had something there in the aroma, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it had, had to do with the pour. I wish I could tell you that I can sense a difference here, but I can't. I'm so sorry, but I have to keep it real. I'm sorry. Actually, I wanted this to be better than this one because you know I've been promoting like fermenting under pressure, but this time with the BF27, because this was one experiment. This time with the BF27, you would never know that this was hot fermented. I tried the uh, C no, I did not. I tried the Angel Yeast BF16 yeast, fermented at 25, and I got some like spicy notes. Why did I choose to ferment this as, at the temperatures I did? Because if we read the label here, sorry, it says fermentation temperature 10C to 25C, ideally 10 to 15. So the cold one I choose at 15C because I'm lazy and I want to, things to move fast. And then the hot one I choose 25C. But if we can get such clean beers at 25C, maybe we should push it. Ah, push it. Push it real good. Ah, push it. Push it good. Ah, push it. Push, push, push it real, real good. good. Ah, push it. I'm sorry that this video sucks, that I didn't sense any difference, but I'm like, blown away with with this yeast to be uh, honest i'm thinking we need to try maybe the bf 27 against another yeast redefined hot and the cool thing with like ferment log is hot because when you think about that log yeast it can work at 10 degrees celsius probably colder also and you ferment hotter means that the yeast will work faster we're not holding down the temperature because the yeast like it. We are holding down temperature because we might like the flavor that the yeast are producing there. If a yeast can work at 10 degrees Celsius and colder, imagine how fast it is at 25 or hot. Before you click off, please tell me from where are you watching? I'm from Sweden. You might have heard that from my dialect, right? But if you like this kind of experiment, maybe this video will be something for you to check out next. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, Angel Yeast, for helping out. Cheers. Oh, du. What can I say, Tiggy? Here's some there.